So here we with Frank from Reach Renewables. Um, Frank, thank you very much for the opportunity to, to do a documentary on this uh, system at MTN. Give us a bit of background and, and the system partners and how it came about that you did this amazing installation. Okay, thanks Oli. Um, and welcome to our solar cooling plant here at uh, MTN. Maybe first, um, it's uh, MTN took uh, solar cooling in South Africa or Africa for that matter to a whole new level uh, using concentrating solar technologies to uh, improve efficiency and area usage, etc., of the whole system. And uh, yeah, we are really grateful also that uh, they made that step uh, into the unknown or leadership role that they are taking. And uh, here you see the system um, produces uh, 330 kilowatts um, of peak cooling uh, from the sun. So uh, that's quite a significant number already. And uh, on this board you also see all the parties that were involved in this project. So quite a number in the professional team uh, implementation, Volta Technologies and Luft Technik. And it was designed in cooperation with AOS and uh, Industrial Solar. And uh, the project was financed primarily from MTN. Uh, but also co-funded from uh, DENA, the German Energy Agency, which receives its funds from uh, German Ministry of Economic Affairs and Energy. To my knowledge, I think this is the first real industrial-sized linear Fresnel installation in South Africa. That's right. Yes. I think let's have a look yeah. at this amazing system. Okay, let's go upstairs. Here we are at the, the, the linear Fresnel installation and it's mind-blowing. You cannot not be impressed with, with what you see here and, and get the magnitude and the feel of this uh, solar thermal system. Frank, tell us a bit more on the aspects of, of this installation. Okay. Well, yeah, it's mind-blowing. What always uh, uh, blows my mind is uh, just the thought we use heat to produce cooling. Absolutely. That's, that's amazing. Like in a black box called an absorption chiller, we put in heat, get out cold. Very Amazing, but in this case, even we do it uh, from the sun, so that is uh, that is really great. And uh, yeah, maybe just to explain to you the the whole system how it works. You see here a number of mirrors. They are all slightly curved. Uh, they have different curvature depending on where they are positioned, and they focus the sunlight back onto a central absorber tube, which is uh, positioned um, in this absorber line here. And uh, above that, you have a secondary reflector that um, captures all the uh, all the reflections that are lost that are not um, that don't hit the tube 100% to focus them back onto that tube. And uh, yeah, by doing so, we convert the radiation of the sun into heat. Um, in this case, uh, we produce 180 degrees um, hot water, and um, that then um, we feed into the absorption chiller. Um, where it's converted into cooling and we get back into the solar field 160 degrees. So we have a temperature difference of uh, uh, 20 degrees. And um, yeah, maybe as a comparison to other systems, it was a single effect absorption chilling. Uh, we use here a double effect absorption cooling system, uh, which um, requires a higher temperature heat input. And by being able to give a higher temperature heat input, um, we basically can repeat the process of absorption uh, from the same heat input and do it twice because at that high temperature we can use it to evaporate uh, once to get water out of the system and then again uh, from the same heat source. Uh, so we get double the water which is our refrigerant and we use that in the machine. Okay. Should we go down and have a look at the, the plant? Sure, let's go. Good. So at the moment we are in the chiller yard uh, with Julian and he's going to be telling us a bit more about uh, how this cooling system works. He's going to be explaining uh, the system in, in a bit more detail. Uh, Julian, tell us a bit more. Okay, so um, this, is the, this installation is the first of its kind in Africa. We generate cooling using concentrated solar uh, energy. Uh, so we use those mirrors, as you can see here, uh, to generate water at 180 degrees. The pressure range of this installation is between 9.5 and 13.5 bars. Okay. 
it allows us to keep the water on a liquid phase. Um, this heat is then transferred to the chiller that you've got in the plant room just upstairs there, uh, where we, we turn that energy heat into cooling. We are here at the heat exchanger, where we transfer, where we transfer the chill water we produce with that chiller to MTN to cool down the data center building. What are these, what are these units over here? Uh, those units are electric, electric chillers, electrical chillers. Uh, so they generate chill water that's using electricity. So these would basically be the backup for this system? The, the idea is to use that CSP system uh, to generate chill water during the day. So when the requirements in uh, chill water are uh, bigger, especially in summer, this CSP takes about half an hour, an hour to generate the requirement for the chiller, which is, as I said, 180 degrees uh, hot water. Behind us, behind us, we've got some tanks. Can you explain to me quickly what the, the purpose of the tanks are? Those tanks are just used for storage. So we generate chill water, and that chill water is some chill water is stored in those tanks to to allow the, the chill water system to keep more to save more energy and to store more energy in case in case of some something phase chiller phase the CSP doesn't work or maintenance or anything. Julian, we've just been to the chiller yard. We've had a look at what uh, at the equipment that has been installed there. At the moment, we're in the plant room. Uh, a lot of pipes. Um, I believe that essentially the system that's running is, is an extremely quiet uh, system, so it's all in it's uh, additional equipment running in the background that's making all the noise. Tell us a bit about the system. I see some pipes against the wall. Where, where, how does the liquid run? So this is where we recover the heat generated by the CSP. So those two pipes are actually our supply and return pipes connecting to the, the mirror system. We've got pumps and all safety, safety mechanical pressure switches. Uh, pressure transistors underneath. Everything under the floor. Everything is under the, on the floor. And this is where we tie in the chiller. This is where we are able to turn the heat and cool it. We can see it now that we reached the set point, the design point of 180 degrees and 12.5 bars, which is uh, very good. Um, we've got a freeway bar here. That freeway bar is 